interesting job today. We called in, this is a buddy of mine, and uh, he says there's a family of skunks living underneath his uh, shed. So I'm going to try and get rid of them. Now, we're not going to hurt them or anything like that. We just want to evict them. So I'm going to take a look around and see where they're getting in. I'll grab the camera. Okay, we got a hole there. Let's see what we got going on back over here. That ah, doesn't look too bad yet. We just gotta make sure that we don't walk right into one here. Oh yeah, there's a big hole right there. Okay. You can kind of see where they may maybe go underneath the neighbor's uh, fence there. Maybe right there. Couple spots here. Okay. Well, what I'm going to try and do is put a little bit of water down the one end and see if we can force them out because apparently they don't like water. Okay, I got the water running at the front. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, I'll leave the camera going for a little while here. Let's see if we get some skunks out of there. Let me try underneath here. Got one out. Yeah, they're not liking that water. I don't want to drown them. <clears throat> well, we confirmed that they're living underneath there. That's that's the big thing. Problem is, he came out and saw a shadow, so he went back in. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh.
I'm gonna have to leave the door open or the gate open here. Two more, three, that's four all together. They seem to be uh, going underneath the fence over there, so that's good news. Oh, don't come back. That's one of the little ones. All right, one went back in. That's bad news. Oh, he's coming the wrong way here. Turn around, buddy. No, no, don't go back in, don't go back in. Unless you're starting to fill up because they're they're not going back in the stand. I'll just keep the water running. Okay. They're cute. One, two. Oh no, 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 keep going.
Okay, they're not liking the water. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Two, three. Oh, see, they're getting wet. They're not liking that. It's like cats. There's more in there, though. Yeah, I think that might be the last one. They're definitely not liking the water now. I'm going to let it run for a little bit longer just to make sure there's not another one in and then I'm going to use a table and block off the hole. That's all you can do is just block the holes off. It's getting a little bit dark out so it's going to be hard to see in there. But I think we're doing good. Alright, I got a close up of their hole here. I wonder if you can see that line pattern. I'm just using an LED light. That's interesting. So I think I counted six coming out of there. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back on the camera and take a look. But they're definitely out of there now. Because you can see water in the hole and they just don't like water. And they went back through there over into the alley, I think. back over there we'll go take a look it's getting darker They got some extra shingles kicking around. That's perfect. Thank you. 
think I got them out. Now skunks, they like to come back. Uh, fortunately enough, there was some shingles laying around, so I've got a couple layer of shingles down. And you have to go a long ways out because they want to dig back in. But we know how to get rid of them. Now I waited till night time because this is their time. And it's really hot outside and I don't want them wandering around in the, uh, in the heat of the day. It's not very fair. There are people too. So I think they're going to have to move. And well, unfortunately it's somebody else's problem now. But at least they're not here. And uh, friends have a dog, so you understand. <laughs> I don't want them around my house, and trust me, I've got I've had some uh, serious skunk problems at my place too. But tomorrow, when it gets a little lighter, we're going to come back. We're going to check things again, and I'm going to show you what I do to keep skunks out of my uh, shed, out from underneath my shed. See you tomorrow. I'm at the back of my shed house here. Now he was, uh, the skunk I had was digging underneath. I'd put a piece of board down, he would dig underneath. Put another piece, he would dig underneath that. So then what I did was I went with this, uh, you can see that it's just a mesh. So I got four feet, or three feet I guess, of just straight, I don't know, two inch mesh. And there's no way they're getting through that. So that would be the ultimate solution. The problem with that is if you're mowing over it, you know, you have to have it down a little farther, but um, for my situation, works awesome. Okay, it's the next night. I've gone around. It doesn't appear they're trying to get back in, which is good, but I want to make sure that they're completely out before I leave everything all blocked in. So I'm gonna run some more water. Let's let that run for about 10 minutes and we'll see if anybody else comes out. If not, we've got a success story. Alright. Well, I give it about another 10-15 minutes of water and I'm not seeing any movement. I think that if you were stuck underneath a shed and you had an opening you'd get out of there in a big way so anyway this has been a success story I got rid of the skunks um, they left pretty easy which was you know very surprising for me but that's good the problem is they're still in the neighborhood there's somebody else's problem now and that's unfortunate you know a guy could trap them but that takes a long time and at least they have a chance of surviving out here they're in the neighborhood anyway. They're great mousers. They're way better than cats. Well, if you've got an issue, give it a try. It really worked well. Well, until the next unusual thing comes along, we'll catch you next time. I'm gonna plug her back up.